Hey everyone, today we're gonna make a hummingbird bunt cake. And hummingbird cake, if you've never had it before, it's basically a banana cake with pineapple and then you can add nuts to it if you want. And so a lot of people have had the hummingbird cake that is the layer cake, but I've made it into a bundt cake. It kind of makes it a lot easier to make, in my opinion. You don't really even need a mixer for this. And then you can add a nice cream cheese glaze over everything. It's really moist and really good. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to grease and flour a bundt pan. And I'm gonna put a link to my favorite bundt pan that I use that is great for keeping cakes from sticking. So for the ingredients, you're gonna add three cups of all-purpose flour, add that to a large mixing bowl with one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice. And if you don't have that, don't worry about it. You can skip it. You don't like need to go to the store to get it or anything. Okay, so in another bowl, you're gonna add four large, very ripe bananas and mash them up. And I like to use a potato masher. It does a pretty good job of mashing everything up. And the riper the bananas, the more banana flavor you're gonna get. So try to get really ripe ones. Then you're gonna add eight ounces of crushed pineapple and you don't have to drain it, just leave the liquid in there. And that is about one cup. And then add one cup of granulated sugar and then one cup of packed light brown sugar, three eggs and one cup of vegetable oil and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So now you're gonna take a whisk and whisk that up you don't have to get it super smooth. You're gonna kinda have like chunks of bananas in there. Don't worry about it. Now you're just gonna pour all of that liquid ingredient mixture into the dry mixture and then just use a spoon and mix it all up. You do not even have to have an electric mixer for this cake. That's what makes it so easy. So just use like I'm using here, a silicone spatula or something like that and mix it up and then add in a cup of walnuts or pecans. I mean, that's up to you, you don't have to it's still gonna taste good if you don't add in the nuts. So once you've mixed it up, you want to add it to your prepared pan and then just make sure it gets all in there. And by the way, I forgot to mention, don't overmix this. You don't have to get every little lump out of that batter. It's still gonna be a little lumpy and that's perfectly okay. All right, so you're gonna bake this in a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 55 to 65 minutes. Ovens will vary. You're gonna set this on your cooling rack for about 15 to 20 minutes and then flip it over and let it cool completely on the cooling rack while you make the glaze. So to make the glaze, you're gonna use half cup of unsalted butter, which is room temperature, and then four ounces of cream cheese, which is also room temperature. And then mix that up together until it is very smooth. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then one to two tablespoons of milk, and three cups of confectioner's sugar. And you don't have to add all of this at one time. I sort of add it in stages so it doesn't make a mess everywhere, but it's totally up to you. And you can sort of just get a feel for how much milk you need to add. You can add another one or two tablespoons. To get it to be a glaze consistency, you may have to add up to about four tablespoons, but just keep mixing and testing until you get the consistency that you want. And you see here, I'm just adding in extra milk just so I can thin it out just a little bit. Okay, so once you get it to the consistency that you want, you wanna make sure that your cake has cooled down completely, otherwise your glaze is just gonna completely run off of it when you add it. So add your glaze on it, and then I also sprinkled on some chopped nuts on the top because I think it makes it look really pretty, but that is totally up to you. You can skip out on the nuts if you need to. This cake is really good when you warm it up. You don't wanna warm it up too much or the glaze is just gonna kind of run off of it, but it's good at room temperature and warmed up. You can eat it for dessert, a snack, or even breakfast if you want. If you make this, let me know what you think about it. Happy cake baking, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.